Thank you very much. Lou Chayet touched on many subjects, opening with a wide-ranging speech and then taking questions from the press. He hailed the long-standing ties between France and China, saying the European partners and China need one another. En effet, les relations bilatérales the bilateral relations of our two countries benefit from many advantages. For example, France was the first major Western country to establish relations with China. We have a traditional friendship. Secondly, our two countries are permanent members of the UN Security Council. So, as great powers in the world, we have strategic visions on international relations and international affairs. Our strategic mutual communication is very frequent, and we are complementary in economic cooperation as well. The Chinese ambassador to France says vaccines against the COVID-19 pandemic are critical in the fight against the disease. Liu Xiaoye admitted that China had had its struggles with the outbreak at the start of the year, but he said that each country had faced different challenges relating to COVID-19. COVID-19 is the most serious pandemic our planet has experienced in a century. Facing this epidemic, which occurred with great suddenness, China has given priority to saving lives and took the resolution decision to completely suspend economic activities in order to energetically fight against COVID-19. We asked Ambassador Liu about the coronavirus PPE air bridge that was set up between China and France at the height of the first peak of the pandemic during lockdown here in the spring. President Macron has since said that France must stand independently without having to rely on other countries. Ici, on parle beaucoup de... There is a lot of discussion here about the excessive dependence on China, especially on medical devices and other strategic products. I think we have to look at this problem in a different way. In the context of globalisation, all countries are interdependent. It is inevitable. Nobody can decide alone. It has to be natural. To achieve efficiency, productivity, the countries of the world must apply the division of labour. He also addressed questions on the situation in Hong Kong, and he reiterated the position of the government in Beijing saying that nations should not involve themselves in the internal politics of other states. Human rights are accepted in all countries, including China. China includes human rights in its constitution. Human rights, democracy, freedom are all essential values of socialism in China. So they are our values, as well as your values. But who is the judge? It is not the West. It is certainly not China either. Each country has its own national situations, so we have to measure the state of human rights in each country according to their specific economic, cultural, historical and even ethnic or religious situations.